All right, here we go. To the Great Night Pre-Show. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator. Bringing you in and out of the green room, escorting you. I'm your escort for this evening into the green room and out of the great room. Thank you so much for joining us here. Coming up, we've got a, a bunch of great stories. We've got some really good stories, uh, and I know what all of them are. I know exactly what they all are. Uh, but those are coming up. we got a great game. Oh my god, this game is so fun. Sunbun reminded me of a... We'll, we'll talk about it, but Sunbun reminded me of a classic bit that I think was not even a Night Attack or an NSFW show bit. I think it was a DKG, a, a, a Drunken Gaming bit. But uh, that's going to be uh, fun coming up here in, uh, in just a little bit. But uh, thank you for joining us here on The Great Night Green Room. Speaking of The Green Room, Green Room, can you hear me? So yeah. the, the, the bit's not even our bit, a classic bit from uh, uh, yeah, what's a, up with friend, this classic uh, a bit? friendly program, not ours. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Well, the repurposing bit, bits. The bit was about me. Was Wait, it? Uh, was it mukbang? Were you eating uh, <laughs> scorpions again? No, it was an old, we, I'll explain it as the setup for the game, but it was, there was an old game that Sunbun and some of the folks over there wrote called Horse or Neshcom, and people had to guess if it was the Whether name of a horse. Whether or not this was a horse or you. Or a name of a song that I wrote. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, all is forgiven. We'll play it in the after forgiven. show. Uh, It'll be fun. All right. Uh, all right. We're good. All right. Have uh, a great room. Oh, goodness. We got um, win in the Super Bowl. Okay. Can yeah. we, can, can we, can we, uh, whoa, let's bring it down a bit. That was one of the best bits I ever saw was when I was 19 years old I and just getting into magic. We were all excited, like, oh, my God, they're doing, like, a Christmas uh, dinner at the local magic club. And uh, this dude who was, uh, I think I'm going to be kind here and say he was 872. Uh, he very, very, very slowly goes through one illusion. And then breathing heavily, he says, all right, let's slow it down a bit. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> at which point, Gordon and I lost our goddamn minds. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, but, uh, how are you enjoying not being constantly on a plane? Well, I, I feel like I'm, I've yet to really fully enjoy it because I've done this. I've come back from a trip right. and then been here in Austin for Monday and Tuesday. It's just usually Wednesday or Thursday I leave so, like, I think I'm going to fully enjoy it when I do my walk on Friday, which is always, like, it's, like, kind of a a, a centering kind of moment for my week. So I feel like that'll that'll be it. it it's weird because, uh, like, you're you're physically back in Austin. You, you know that you have however much time. Uh, and you know that, theoretically, you should be unclenching your fists and unwhite knuckling or whatever, but... Uh, no matter how much the upstairs part <laughs> of your head tells you to, uh, in my experience, it's like three or four days later that uh, uh, the way the meta metaphor incoming, yeah. uh, the metaphor I've always heard is like um, uh, after giving birth, uh, a mother is so anxious about properly uh, nursing their child yeah. that they can't get anything out. And so the the, the folksy method is to give her a beer counterintuitively. Yeah. And then she relaxes just enough that her milk comes in. Gotcha. And, and so it's, it takes like whenever there's a, a big run, like you are in the middle of and probably will be in well, that's the all, the, all the way yeah, till the problem. The problem yeah. is, is that there's two other things aside from being on the road, which uh, 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 some of which was for things that, that uh, uh, added into either covering the midterms or working on world's greatest con uh, uh, there has been other stuff that has also happened that was very important, that was worthwhile to go to. But uh, uh, yeah, when I come back, all I do is sit and like, oh, here's a lot of stuff I probably did not uh, 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 focus as much on that I need to focus on. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, there's, I don't know. Can we talk about 
What yeah. if there was a Joe nah, Biden made a come? Bah, bah, bah. This All is, right. This fine. is the one moment we have of real safety where we can really let our guards down. All I do is talk about a Joe Biden made a come. Uh, well, no, because that would be robbing something from the beginning of the episode tonight. Because All we're right. going to conduct a scientific experiment. We are. Let's let's let's. I can make multiple Joe Biden jokes. Uh, uh, okay. Congrats. Multiple, <laughs> old multiple germs. That's MJJ. Yep. The second J is redundant because he came twice. <laughs> multiple jerk off germs. Yep, exactly. MJJ. I know. I FTW. Got a fucking, I got a, I got a, I got a, a refractory period of a hummingbird fart. <laughs> Sorry, I was picturing a hummingbird farting, or sorry, a hummingbird coming, no, and yeah. then I realized, no, it's the hummingbird's fart, fart who's fucking and then coming. No, 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 that's just how fast. Jizz, boom, I can jizz right again. Uh, like a semi-automatic. Uh, I don't even need a bump stock or nothing. Uh, so, so uh, NRA federally protects my dick. I see where this talk is going. Loesch. I see where this is going. You're, you're, you're try, you're I'm trying, trying to, do, to not talk do, about my real life. You're Fine. trying to go, do the, go, the go. MJJ talk special. Talk about my real life. Let's go. Oh no, no, no. no. Yeah, well, and I. Uh, uh, here's what's wonderful, man. Yeah. Is is that uh, at some point uh, I'm going to strip out all context, but you legitimately looked me in the eye and said, "We are the same person," and I <clears throat> and I hadn't thought about it. I was like. Holy fuck, we are, <laughs> and and because we're the same person, I know that that in theory, uh, upstairs part may tell yourself like, oh no, I'm unwinding, I'm fine, but but then you know, the the moment shit gets back, you're gonna be you're gonna snap, you're 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 still on the front. Oh, I don't think I'm unclenching. Like, right, I am not. I am not. Like there are elements for which, uh, and this is something that that really came during the lockdown is that I did very much become a believer in routine. So, like, for example, even if I think that I have been overeating and I want to lose weight, and I know that that intellectually is because of my diet, I will also know that when I come back from the gym, I need to eat breakfast. Even if I'm not super hungry, it's just I need to... What is more important is I establish the pattern of when I eat, then skip the breakfast because I don't feel hungry. I overate last night, right? right? Like that's that's the big thing. And so it's like, you know, Monday, uh, uh, we normally go out to lunch before we do weird things. And uh, you were expressing to me like, oh, I'm I'm su- kind of surprised I saw you. I thought that you might have I didn't want to I didn't want to press into, anything. Yeah, that you yeah. might have gone into like world's greatest con or coma, catch up other yeah. stuff or. Uh, uh, but I'm like, no, this is important. It's important that. We have this clearinghouse that we can uh, talk. We then do weird things. Then I can go back and work on World's Greatest Con, which I did. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, no, I think routine, routine, routine. That is that is a huge, a huge and very hilarious thing that uh, uh, we can talk about. Yeah, I uh, I think I need to adjust my routine because uh, now that I'm not stress vomiting all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I put on. Uh, Almost thirty pounds. Oh I God. think it's that's <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my God! If there was one brief moment I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we're doing a show, a live show. Yeah. Gotcha. The whole point of this bit is to is to lay. No, lay it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. No. No. <laughs> uh, I think so it's I for need the to best. Just for the best. My routine <laughs> and maybe involve some running again. Uh, 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 the, the the fact that you're at that point, yeah, is great. The fact that you're at like, oh, I can think about putting on weight is yeah. a great, great thing for you, uh, uh, considering where you were before. Uh, yeah, no, it was, it was a rough seas for a minute there. Um, uh, so uh, when. Like, like, do you plan ahead in some logical part of your brain and acknowledge where the finish line is going to be and when you can un- let your milk come in? <laughs> let your milk come in. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. I'm going to start squirting. Uh, uh, MJJ. MJJ. <laughs> let that milk come in. MJJ. MJJ. You let that milk come in. Just let it come in. Come on. Hey. Just let it come in. Here, hey. have a, It's just hey. a Miller Lite. It ain't going to affect the baby. MJJ. Yeah. 
who rank. <laughs> Let's do milk today. Yeah. Just repeat it's it. It's going to come in. Re- yeah. say, say it with me. MJJ. Hooray. Let's, let's have, have milk oh, come in. Let's have milk come in. Not let that milk come in, the thing you were saying before. <laughs> no, let's let's choose. have let's choose. Wow, we're making a word here. <laughs> yes. We're only adding choose. words. Yes. Normally when you revise, you take yes. words out. Oh no, I'm glad you understand. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're let's from the top, from the top, okay. from the top, okay. from the top. <laughs> MJJ Hooray. Let's, let's choose, choose to, to let, let that, that milk, milk come, come in. in. Today. Today, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel? Wait, am I still going? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's part of it too. Also, I that's swear a, to God, if I, I, oh I look down, and God, you had two I, dark you had circles. Two dark circles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it? Don't you do it? <laughs> do you tip a bit? Um, but but uh, 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 do you do you have a date by which time? Your your the, your inner Norman Schwarzkopf. Uh, uh, I I'm right now fighting a two what front war. What the fuck war. does that mean to anybody in the chat room? Your inner Norman Schwarzkopf. I I suspect you know exactly. Do you know? Do you know how old our audience is? Like our audience is fucking old. I know, but they know who but, Norman but Storm I, I and Norman I, is. I, yeah, I, I didn't warn anyone of yeah. the metaphor incoming, and yeah. I just said you're. I just refer as if everybody has it's an fine. inner no, Norman no, Schwarzkopf no, 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 who plans it. things. Yeah, your inner Donald Rumsfeld. Has there been a more popular? All right, now we're going to talk about. Okay, Norman uh, hold on. All right, yo, yeah, you want to? Yeah, military history. Let's go. Has there Patton. been a more Patton? No, since since Schwarzkopf. Petraeus. I don't think he's he was as popular. Schwar- Schwarzkopf was like legit popular. Well, yeah, because he won a two minute football game. <laughs> yeah, which <laughs> made threw, him look he threw, amazing. He threw one football. It landed in the end zone. They did, and then the band came on the stage, and that was it. Yeah, no, uh, 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 and he got that great, um, that great, uh, 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 Chris Farley bit on Weekend Update. What's up? He came out and was just like bragging like a professional wrestler, and then it just ended oh, with, yeah. him, with him screaming, I want Holyfield! I want Holyfield! <laughs> uh, do you, do you remember when Chris Farley played El Nino? Of course, Spanish for the Nino. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm going to uh, well, that, meta, that, meta, that meta, 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 leave meta, it, leave it, I landed leave it, it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Go ahead. All right. I would say that I'm fighting right now a two front war. Uh, one of them's the midterms. The other is the third season of World's Greatest Con. Uh, I'll be done with one front of the war in two weeks. When at our this friendship time. ends. Oh, no, no, no. We'll continue <laughs> oh, to do World's Greatest oh, Cup. good, 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 yeah. good. Okay, the good. The midterms good. Will, be, will be over. And then at the very least, I can say, uh, uh, okay, I, that buys me about a year and two months before I need to dedicate, like, my entire life to covering the presidential election, which will be its own, like, uh, 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 craziness that we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But I, I can at least unclench a little bit. And then World's Greatest Con season three, uh, you know, continues to progress, and uh, uh, that that at least is like a process for which, like the midterms, people just get madder at me. Yeah, as things like I'm already getting the tweets of like, "Hey, stop having a smile in your tone when you talk about the Democrats losing," and it's like, okay. do do you genuinely in your heart? And we've talked about this before. Like I've developed a, a hardwired instant translation for certain types of comments. Like when somebody says, so sad, what happened to this channel? Used to be a bunch of long form content, now it's all shorts. Like I, all I hear is, you've done a good job, Brian Brushwood. You have successfully revitalized this, this channel and got it in my recommended feed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for that, it just means we're close. Right. Like, people are, are very invested, and also it's like, what, what they don't realize, which sounds a little weird, and I tried to explain a little bit on Twitter yesterday, was like, uh, I'm rooting for my takes. Like, my... <laughs> my, my so, if you, like, you might hear me, like, with a little bit of a smile in my voice, like, when I talk about but uh, Republicans coming back or having momentum... Mostly because I've said this is going to be a close election, and a lot of said it was going to be a laugher for the Democrats over the last month and a half. Right. And so I've kind of felt a little unsure of myself and out on an island when I'm like, I don't know. Like, I would probably still say that the 
the meta will hold for for midterm elections and so that would go this way and so like i've kind of felt stupid for a while being the guy saying that and now that it seems like i'm right if you hear any happiness it's literally just me being happy that i have a career that i'm not just going to completely fucking humiliate myself and then have gene hackman laugh it off and then continue to be a pundit the next day well and especially as as your star rises uh, your profile rises and your track record of predictions matters a little bit more well it's just louder like because like you can totally eat shit and a lot of all right pundits, i've had it i've heard enough uh, uh, a, a lot of pundits eat shit all the fucking time but uh, uh and then they come back and it's fine because you do have to roll with it you always have to show up like uh, if you lose on wrestlemania you still have to show up to monday night raw the next day and explain why you're gonna fight with the next guy like like that is part of the that's part of show business but like I don't want to do it. I want to keep being right. And so you're always rooting for yourself to not have to explain, do the next episode on here's what I got wrong. Like that's a humiliating episode to do. And, uh, uh, uh I don't know. I'd rather do the, why I'm smarter than everybody episode. And so I'm happy about it. So, uh, it occurs to me that, that you and I, uh, have an, a, a strange overlap where you will be passed uh, your big, uh, one of your big fist unclenching moments. And then there'll be a two to three week period where I will be approaching mine with the black Friday holiday seasons, because, um, to anybody who doesn't know scam stuff is low key. Everything that funds everything. Yeah. Uh, please consider buying a cool lock pick set for your loved ones. Uh, but, but as we gear up for that, as it gets closer, I get, I get louder and, and output becomes more important as I tell cool stories and try out stuff. And uh, I get, that, that'll be an interesting. No, no, no. Cause then you're going to be fighting a two front war because uh, uh, you're also going to be recording gonna be world's saying, greatest con hey, season can we get three. You in the morning? Uh, uh, so get ready for <laughs> season three of world's greatest con where it's like, and go, Oh Christ guys. I don't know. I mean, free market on one hand. Um, no stop it no you know no do do the thing all right brian does this thing now where i will try to brainstorm with him parts for world's greatest con oh man and brian won't actually talk to me like a human he'll talk to me in world's greatest con narrator voice so i'll be like <laughs> I'll be like, hey, something, I don't know. Like, do you have anything on, uh, 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 you know, uh, how much you learn versus like from being a baby to six to being like six to 60 or something like that? Like something about compressed knowledge. And in the past, Brian would be like, I don't know. There's this one book and this other book or whatever. They, but now he'll just fucking like do like when I was a child. <laughs> I looked at my mom and I said, what's three plus three? <laughs> she said to me something I'll never forget. She said, six. Now, this may sound like a small moment, but it's not a small moment. It's a fundamental truth. Upon this, you get algebra. You get fundamental equations that leads mankind to the moon. <laughs> it's a, but you won't. Like, 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 like now, like, like you, you've now channeled it and you have it on demand so much where it's not. I, I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, there was a point in the beginnings of the series when everything's new. We were like, we were like, oh, we, I, neither I, of us. I, I, gotta, I gotta be a character, and I'm going to try and do a thing, and it takes effort. And now you're like, oh, as soon as I can process it in my head, let me also try out what it sounds right. like. Let me try out turns of phrases and everything, because like you'd rather get those takes out while we're talking to each other than doing it while we're recording. Right. And so like, I, I, I do appreciate it as more efficient, but it is definitely very funny. Well, uh, there's two things. First of all, my favorite version of me doing that is when I've made it four or five sentences before you realize what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I realize immediately. I realize, but I, I just know that it's good. It's good for the process. Although every once in a while, I've asked you something very specific and I'm like, like, have you ever read a book on repressed memories? And, then you, memories. and then you go on a full monologue of like, Imagine you're in a hospital and you've just woken up and I'm like, just the book. Just give me the book. Uh, then there's the time. Hey, then there, 
with Brett Weaver. Hello. Then there's the times I get the texts that say, read everything you can on this subject. And the next day, I'm like, I read an entire book. Uh, I, yeah. I did this research. I spent six full hours. I'm ready story. on this. And then it's, it's like, now, I'm not sure why you asked me to do all this, because I'm, I'm thinking maybe it has to do with this or that or the other thing. And then Justin replies with, no, I was talking about when this happens. And I was like. That's that's a different psychological phenomenon. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about other thing. Uh, the good news is I don't feel like I'm worse off for having read that book last no. night. Yeah. I think we learned at that point. Uh, let's ask more. <laughs> yeah. Let's ask more. In fact, that's a good question that, that we probably should have had before we before we started talking. Always right. learning. I need to do an opening uh, show opening. In the world's greatest con. Oh my God! I dare you. Let's let's save it. Let let's save it for when the season comes out. But okay. yes, you should. You should absolutely do it. You might have to practice a bit. There's yeah. a there's a bit of a. Cadence. It would actually be really funny if we did a whole episode as like a parody of World's Greatest Con. That would be a whole episode of, of Great of Night. Great Night, where it was just we had I gave Bryce the music cues. And and we just did <laughs> we just did narration. All right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I remember this time mm. when I I'm, I'm I'm still working on it, mm. but but just open it that way. I, so I, I, I imagine, I, if you will, there was a time. I will, Great I will, con. I will share this. Uh, when we first started World's Greatest Con, I, I was deeply uncomfortable with any kind of version of a Brian Brushwood serious voice. Um, but but over the last few years my voice has gotten a little bit gravelier mm -hmm. and i was concerned because i could hear the difference and i was like brett has a very gravelly voice yes, and it's awesome sometimes i <laughs> so do i felt i felt okay about it yeah but also yeah, but I don't know. he's got he, you got some gravel too i've got a little bit of gravel yeah yeah, yeah. It's but also, i got quartz no but that's yeah but that's the button you're like your, your voice granite. is not and and that's what makes it great obsidian that's, just naming rocks Diamonds, gotcha. There Emeralds, go. sure. Uh -huh. Rubies, sapphires, uh, blood diamonds, <laughs> stones, the best kind. La lab grown diamonds, <laughs> lab grown <laughs> cubic zirconium. Oh, busted. Yeah. Garnets. Hey, <laughs> sapphires. Brad. Yeah. We asked you to remember something. Do you remember what we asked you to remember? I remember what we asked you to remember. God, we both remember what we it. asked you to remember. Mm. Do you remember what we asked you to remember? No, I do not. We were walking out of the bar. Yeah. And we said, remember. And then it led to a conversation about a about a comedian that shows up on Fox News. I am so Brian Brushwood right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Joe Piscopo. Work backwards. Work backwards. Uh, and uh, push it. Uh, let's start with push it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Brian, Bonnie, and I. <laughs> Brian, Brian is there for uh, 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 mm, mm. uh, 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 Brian, Bonnie, and I are at our, our local. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, salt and peppers push it comes on, and uh, uh, we were joking about how it's a very sexual song that now has been almost entirely desexualized. Like, and, like it sells credit cards and yes. mattresses yep. and like the most unsexual things that you could think about. Now it is normalized. And before we get silly, uh, the sincere part is Bonnie was in eighth grade. Yes. And was earlier to puberty than I was. I was in seventh grade when that song came out. So to me, in seventh grade, that song has never been sexualized. Whenever they said push it, in my mind, it was like, push it to the limit. Yeah. Ha -ha. Okay. Do everything as hard as you can. Um, uh, 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 whereas to her, it's like, oh, insert your penis over yeah. very <laughs> forcefully. And she's like, Christ alive. And uh, we were talking about that difference, and uh, 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 Justin brought up an excellent metaphor. That this has probably happened throughout history. Yeah. That at some point, back in the 50s, 
there's like a, a house party where everybody's in like suits and ball gowns and shit like that because that's what you left the house with. And at some point, a dude puts on a record and it's Frank Sinatra, and he's just like, "All night making love to you." <laughs> and this dude's like, "Fucking Frank, Jesus Christ! Bring like, down, what bro. the fuck are you playing? My wife is here." <laughs> This like, is fucked up. That's the most explicit way to this, express. Like, holy wow. shit. Having sex with somebody. He just yeah. said making love to you. Whoa. <laughs> like, you want to be, pull your dick out and fuck my <laughs> wife right here for me? I let you, but. if I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The cuck crooner. <laughs> oh, I'm here to make love to most of you. Ooh. Wait, uh, like men and women? You yep. can walk. Much, but it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> so wait, hold on. Well, that kind of takes the fun out of the cuck thing. But like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, but but uh, it gets one at a time, though. I didn't say that. <laughs> well, no, but that's Nobody but you're the cuck knows. crooner. <laughs> that's try, we're trying to he, hold to the lore here. <laughs> that mean that's what it means when he goes shooby doo wop dooby dooby swabby dub. That Those means, are the names th- of each th- of my dicks. Means, that just means get on the fuck pile. See, when, that's all when that it Santa means. Claus, he's got his reindeer, <laughs> he calls to them. I a call to each of my seven dicks. Shooby doo wop erect. <laughs> be diddy bop. Let's go. <laughs> Pre cum seven activates. <laughs> Red lion, go. <laughs> These are my favorite Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons lyrics. Yes. <laughs> Could you imagine having seven dicks and one Red of those names? Red Lion, go! <laughs> Red Lion, he's gone, go! He's gone, that'd be, go! That would be a great BuzzFeed article, is which lion is your dick? Yep. <laughs> Black Lion. All right. All right. Gotcha. All right. You made it weird. Right there. Oh, right there. It. How Dare you? How dare you, sir? Controversy strikes. Welcome to Morning Joe. I'm Joe. I used to be in Congress. <laughs> now I'm We're in the talking morning. about dicks and robot lions. I'm Frankie Valley. <laughs> oh, we've got Frankie Valley on the line. Yeah. It's a bit weird that he announced himself before I introduced Yeah, him. no, I'm but, a new I'm a new uh, co-host. Sandra, please conduct your interview. Hi, uh, it's Mika. Mika, so, come on. Uh, yeah, Watch some MSN. Mika, no, Mika, Mika had Brzezinski. Brzezinski. Uh, sorry. Jesus Mika, Christ. I don't know. Does nobody give a shit anymore? I'm not a fucking Does nobody pundit? fucking give a shit? Is everybody just out here not giving a shit? I'm not oh, a pundit. Am I the like only one are. who's giving a shit right now <laughs> yep <laughs> okay fuck? all right listen let's okay. calm down let's go to commercial <laughs> okay Redline all right listen you're name. here as a treasured guest interview on hi i'm frankie on... valley <laughs> i know i know i'm I know. frankie valley we're happy to have you uh uh okay they're on to the, the neutrogenics commercial we only have so much time <laughs> yeah uh frankie yes i'm gonna need you to dial in on the issue gotcha it's me Joe. Yep. Scarborough. Morning Joe. Yeah. There you from go. Morning, Morning Joe. Joe. Glad that you remembered your last yeah. name right at that last second. <laughs> and you're and you're and you're Miko. What's the last name? Brzezinski. There don't, we go. Nailed it. Don't talk to me till I've had my coffee, Mika. All right. Maybe yeah. for, Frankie. Morning, Joe. All right. Oh, Here we go. They're, they're, uh, by, by the way, they're, they're, right, they're, three, they're counting down. Two, Did you one. kill that intern? All right. Um. <laughs> Mika. So, you have a new song, do you? I do. Uh, it's about a red lion? Well, you know, I've been uh, exploring the space a little bit, and uh, obviously a lot of people have been asking, Frankie, Frankie, <laughs> when's the next, when's your next drop? It's on everybody's mind. Yeah. Are you on TikTok? Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Valley on TikTok. Frankie Valley, I'm killing it on the wait, top. Wait, what's your name on TikTok? Well, number one, the first video, my most popular video, yeah. is uh, uh, it comes in and Frankie I'm like, Valley reacts uh, to uh, if if you're seeing this, you're on Valley Talk. <laughs> and then then I start singing like. They don't, they don't cry. cry. Yeah, yeah. But then, but then the the voice that sings on tick that, that talks on TikTok goes like, "Big girls don't cry," and it, <laughs> it just kills every time. Frankie Valley.
TikTok influencer. <laughs> yep. This is a very relatable character <laughs> with demographics that definitely overlap. With, with an AI voice. Very right? overlap. Yeah. Big very girl. overlapping. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Bryce Castillo just entered the studio. Hey. Uh, we're still in the middle I of this interview. I can't believe I came into the... <laughs> <laughs> with a counterpoint, we have noted TikTok to Ray uh, expert, yeah. uh, uh, Bryce Castillo. Hello. Bryce. Hi. Hi, I'm Frankie Valley. Hi, Mr. Valley. I was in the four seasons. Uh, Jersey Boys is about me. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. interesting. It's a very popular Broadway play. Like a did they make a something? movie? Question mark. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, did did we? That's all... another one of my favorite uh, TikToks that have gone real viral. Yeah. Is I go uh, Jersey Boys. Did they make a movie? Did they make a movie? Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then that's it. It's, it's very it's engaging. Short. The kids love it, man. They love it. They keep playing it over and over again. Sure. Hold, hold, on, hold on. Do you do variations on that question or just the same Well, one? no, a lot of times because then people loop it. <laughs> and they use and they use the they use the the audio yeah and it's Jersey Boys they do they duets. make a movie but it's mm -hmm. like somebody chopping lettuce and then a chef reacts to it and then yeah. and then there's somebody where it's like a like a uh, they're wearing a different outfit at the end yeah. you know TikTok it's a real uh, uh, it's a it's a platform but I think the Chinese are using it to spy on children. Uh, that that that's, that, a hot that's take. right. Yeah, uh, Mika. We were talking about this before. Frankie yeah. Valley, who I believe is very busy, has a show tonight and has to go. No, yes. I got time. <laughs> I got time. In okay. fact, in fact, actually, hold on. Let me check my calendar. <laughs> yep, for the next thirty minutes, it's keep this bit going. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, 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 you want me to do my new song? Well. Uh, well. Uh, you know. Uh, yes. I guess. <laughs> I hope it's not about Chinese people, though. Yeah. No, it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. I just put my objection uh, out there ahead of time. It, it's not that song Jackie Chan got it wrong, did he? It's Jackie not... Chan got it wrong. Yeah. How Jackie... does that go, Mika? <laughs> well, obviously, Frankie wrote it. So, Frankie, could you... We weren't going to, I guess, in for a penny. I'll in for tell a you pound. what. We're going to hear it. After these messages, All right. three, two, one. okay, listen, what yeah. the fuck, what the Mika, fuck Mika, on? no, yeah. for real, no, no. when we were at Mar-a-Lago and we were talking, you were, you were saying, you? you were saying, this is all cool. Frankie. I'll plug your song. Yeah. I, I was Shut in up. God damn it. Shut up. I'm a Jersey boy. Yes, sir. All right. You know what yes. it takes to be a Jersey boy? No, I don't. It Joe. takes it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of effort. I believe Where's you. your exit? That's I, what I hear okay. in my brain every five seconds. No, it's Joe, Mika? I think he's about to fuck me. Uh, it just. <laughs> Mika, what the fuck? Mika, what's we're going at Mar -a -Lago. on? We're at Mar-a-Lago. No, because we've all been at Mar-a-Lago You're shaming together. my husband? Yeah. you yeah, I am. I'm a Jersey boy. Okay, listen, and we're back in three, <laughs> two, one. Now, during the break, Bryce was saying that he had five top secrets to a successful TikTok video. Oh, and yeah. we thought it'd be fun to find out what Frankie Valley of Frankie Valley of the Four Seasons. <laughs> TikTok thinks. influencer. <laughs> number that's one TikTok. A character influencer. that's gonna go for the next 50 years. The number five tip I've new, got. For new TikTok, hot right? character. That's going to go for the next 50 years. Frankie Valley TikTok <laughs> everyone influencer. Everyone will completely understand. Nobody's going to discard this one because nope. everyone has deep cultural relevance to both of these things. Yep. Right. Also, in the chat, a natural out. King Kong fights Godzilla. <laughs> Two great tastes that taste <laughs> great together. together. Okay, we begin yeah. with what is three plus three, and now we get to tip number five from Bryce Castillo. Tip number five. <laughs> okay, do you do your own? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's his bit. Right. You have All to. Right. Yeah, okay, all right. He's all like right. he's he's like the police academy guy, but for saying numbers. <laughs> yes, my lord. Number five. <laughs> Use the reply feature. Ask yourself a ask us ask yourself a comment a question in a comment and then reply to that comment with another. Frankie video. Valley, what did you think about the fact that he stumbled twice while he said that? <laughs> I think it uh, was a little bit like Bryce. <laughs> he's got. He's got tips. <laughs> that one's free. Okay. <laughs> Number four. Number four. 
make sure you start with a pop. You got to start with something big, Frankie. Now, do you have a big showstopper? Because you got to start with a showstopper. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Frankie, what did you think about the fact that he mispronounced the words showstopper and instead <laughs> said showstopper? I think, I think it reveals that I don't know that many Four Seasons songs when I say... <laughs> You should pronounce things better. <laughs> pronounce things better. All right, coming in at number three. Coming in at number three. <laughs> oh, you know what's so good? What's so good, Bryce? <laughs> Using, I'm Frankie Valley. Is it normal? To TikTok the influencer. Team? We're gonna find out what's really good. I was in Congress. You were. You were, Joe. Yeah. Tell it to the intern. Wait, both of the guests now? Uh, number three. <laughs> Uh, use trending. <laughs> Although Joe getting cucked at his own show is probably <laughs> the most accurate part of this fucking impression. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Bryce. Use trending music and sounds. I know. I use my music a lot. Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. We've never been more relevant. Yep. A lot of people love us. They Spring, sing our songs. Summer, autumn, and winter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Cry uh, Mika was yeah. wondering if uh, you had another song. I do. <laughs> How does it do you go? want me to debut my new song? After number two. <laughs> <laughs> number two. <laughs> Make sure you're on top of hashtags. Make sure you're using the right hashtag so that they know what your video is about. Now, this is interesting because it's separate for some reason from keep it relevant to the current events. What's the difference between a trending hashtag and a currently happening social uh, uh, event? Well, the hashtag <laughs> is text, but the trending sounds and things are audio mika yeah mika does that track with you very much i completely agree with everything you're saying but i really want to hear frankie's new song which we'll get to after we reveal Num number one number one after yeah. these messages <laughs> okay what the fuck what this, the is a this is a fiasco fucking this is a total fiasco i'm not a i'm leaving you my that's it oh my God. are we married you. in this no. yes. yeah, i actually yeah. don't no, watch married. this they're my married. own show yeah, they're yeah. married or yeah, pay yeah. attention to my own yeah. marriage yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably okay marriage i think also, that's how tracks. did you get here bryce you know what i'm asking that too. okay you'll have to put a pin in it and we're back short break short break that's right promo code aware <laughs> big hurt frankie would you like my new song <laughs> yes after <laughs> we hear the number one tip yeah from social influencer <laughs> yeah tiktok tuper star yeah tuper star he's a tuper star yes i'm leaving him again My we're getting back together so i can leave him again <laughs> <laughs> Bryce Castillo <laughs> with mm. number one. Number one. Let's put a pin in that. Now we go live to the debut of, 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 of Frankie Valley's Frankie Valley. new song that begins with this note. <laughs> Back to you, Bryce, <laughs> for tip number one. One, one, one. <laughs> tip number one. Frankie, what did you think so far? Great. <laughs> Bryce, it's a great tip. Number one. What is it? Yeah, answer. Right now. What is it? The whole yeah. world is watching. What's going what? on? Number no, one. No, no, nobody's going to save you. Yeah. This is it. It's dead air. Yeah. On my show. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm Joe Scarborough. Hi, Joe. Number one. Yeah. And we're going to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Wow. What's the number one tip, Bryce? I swear to God. Number one. We, we, only, have, we only have two minutes left. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Rachel Maddow is about to come take this set. Do the Kesha song. Frankie, help me. Walk like a man. Tick tock <laughs> like a man. This is a new song I wrote. Definitely not an old song. Not an old song. Remember to use the robot voice if you have to. 
can't believe this new Frankie Valley song. TikTok tips. TikTok tips. Let's get back together. Okay. End scene. <laughs> That's as good as it gets, people. <laughs> I didn't even get to talk about Marvel 9/11. Oh well. No. Uh, oh All right. End on that. Do we want to talk about? It? So, so we can never forget. <laughs> you guys got me addicted. You, I liked Marvel <laughs> Snap. I have not. I played it a, a few times and I really liked it. and I want to get back to it. But it's very fucking weird that they called it Marvel 9/11. Well, it, because okay. in universe, in universe, the Thanos snap, the blip. It's like a big Do you deal. think that we'd take 9-11 less seriously if it ended five years after? Like everybody who died and the towers just, just went back. like back up? Because that's what happened with the snap, right? right? Is they beat Thanos and then all of a sudden everybody came back. But time still passed. It would be more of a manifest situation. I guess we need to look at manifest to see if it's an NBC show about people who do that. I mean, I, I think 9-11, sorry uh, if I'm breaking character here. Uh, uh, may not be the right metaphor because if we're talking about a thing that was terrible that happened and then years passed, it should be uh, Marvel's COVID-19, right? You're aware that we heard Bryce say this at our party and we said, just repeat that uh, <laughs> on the show and we'll sell it for you? Yeah. <laughs> And then I didn't. No. <laughs> That's great. All right, you we go now minutes. to Frankie Valley of the Four Seasons TikTok influencer Some extraordinaire. Tyrants, you need to remember <laughs> the things that you said because hey, uh, 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 not not for nothing, but starting with three plus three and getting to Frankie Valley on <laughs> just <laughs> car show, <laughs> cooking him. <laughs> About TikTok influencing. That was pretty dope, man. Hey, pretty look at I feel, like, I feel like we did it. We, yeah. We're front yeah. charged, ready to rock. Yeah, Frankie Valley, man. I got all the references. I'll admit, I got, I got some all flop the... sweat there. Got a little <laughs> bit of flop sweat. <laughs> oh, just fucking... a little bit. I'm a re I, regular... I like that the Mika character just kept repeating that we're married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just kept repeating that I was in Congress. <laughs> yeah. Yep. In Congress, and we were married. Now we're broke up. I mean, clearly you guys did a lot better than remembering everything I remember about <laughs> Frankie Valley. <laughs> well, okay, now that which you is, which is he sings in I, a high voice, Jersey <laughs> Boys is made about him, and big girls don't cry. And <laughs> thankfully, at some point, somebody said, "Walk like a man, talk like a man," and I'm like, uh, in my weird owl brain, <laughs> just like tick tock like a man. <laughs> Uh, boy, uh, I really feel put in my place because at least Bryce had to come up with five whole ideas. Five, <laughs> legitimate, five of them. legitimate TikTok tips. All five of them. <laughs> All five. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, congrats. It's your show now. Uh, we All walk right. away in shame. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Castillo. Boy! Thank you to the green room. And hello, everybody. Welcome back to the rest of the pre show here on the Great Night Program. On twitch.tv slash night attack. Thank you so much for joining us here. Of course, uh, everybody, you can go and support us at any time over at patreon.com slash great night. Uh, and by the way, if you are if you're a, if you've been if you if you're a long timer, if you're one of our long timers, you might remember back in the day, we used to tell you on Patreon for Patreon, hey, go and pledge one cent. Give us one cent. Well, Patreon didn't really like that. Uh, and a couple of months ago, they uh, deleted all of those pledges. So if you're a long timer, you may have lost your Patreon pledge. They might have sent an email about it. My, my guess would be that they would. I assume that they would want money. I feel like they would want money for services. So uh, uh, please uh, support us over on Patreon.com slash Great Night uh, and uh, keep the show running. Uh... <laughs> I'm being suggested FrankieValleyFourSeasons.com, the official website for Francesco Steven Castelluccio. Okay, Frankie Valley. Great game coming up for you tonight. Um, I was looking over the list of uh, the original horse or Neshcom game, and it's really good. I think we should play it in the in the after show. Um, it's just a solid bit. It's a pretty good bit. I had some names. I had some names that that sound like. That sound like some Kentucky Derby horses. Um, and yet, uh, uh, but so so we got we got some horses, but it's not it's not gonna be my. I thought about it. I thought about it, but then 
No one, I, like maybe Brian would know the name of one of my songs. He might remember um, Jive Crazy. That was like the one song he played for a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you everybody for joining us here. Uh, talking a little bit about the race cars. Did you get, can I, oh my goodness. I gotta just show you this clip. I gotta show you this clip from the United States Grand Prix over the weekend. Um, because uh, uh, <laughs> there was some, there was something amazing, uh, it, or rather incredible. I, that's, I guess I wouldn't call it amazing, but I would call it kind of incredible. Uh, so during during the race on uh, uh, on Sunday, there was a, a, a collision between uh, Lance Stroll's Aston Martin and Fernando Alonso, uh, multi multiple multiple uh, driver champion, uh, and Alonso. Boy, just take a look. Well, you just take a look at this. That's when the contact is made. Uh, Fernando will say there's His... a little jink to the left. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, Fernando the... uh, just totally wheelies. Completely, complete wheelie. Um, and then, and then, and then he finished the race. This happened, like, what, in the 10th lap or something? Um... But he he runs over Lance's car, and so he he's he wheelies for a bit because these cars are basically airplanes. They're basically upside down airplanes. Uh, he he lands. He rubs against the fence just a little bit, and then uh, they keep him out. They they replace his front wing, and then then they keep driving him. Uh, wild, just just so wild. Uh, he he finished at P7. He finished at seventh place. Um, but then after the fact. I gave him a big penalty uh, because <laughs> later in the race, one of his side mirrors fell off, and you don't you that's really unsafe. You know these cars don't even have brake lights, uh, let alone uh, a full a full optical system. Um, so that there it was it's just wild. I'm that, that that to me is like the big moment of of the race of. Uh, uh, Wow, I, that was my big moment of the race. Now, uh, I believe one Justin Robert Young is being uh, visually hailed by Brian Brushwood in the window here uh, to go check him out. So hopefully Brian, Justin can hear this message and we can get them coordinated. Hey, fun. Bryce, what's up? Hey, Justin. Did you, did you I, have a message for me? Yeah, Brian was looking for you. He's out there. Oh. Brian Br Brushwood. Oh. From the Great Night. I think, oh, yeah, he's going outside to pee, I think. Got you. All right, cool. I'm going to go do that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. See ya. Bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But uh, uh, big, 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 um, big, 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 big moment. Uh, and and uh, the other, uh, uh, well, man, just a lot of stuff happened, I guess. Uh, we had uh, 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 Manischewitz, D Diedrich Manischewitz, the co-founder and one of the people who runs Red Bull. Uh, passed away on uh, God. I want to say it was a it was Saturday. Um, at the same time, Red Bull is going through all of these, uh, uh, going going through a very they're, they're being scrutinized very heavily because uh, <laughs> there is uh, a concern that they overspent uh, uh, their budget last year. That the the, the teams have a I think it was 145 million dollars and. Uh, uh, and the FIA came out last week, I want to say, and said, yeah, they they did a minor, minor in, in, in infraction, infringement of, of the of the cap. And uh, I don't know. It's been it's been very, very funny to uh, <laughs> to see everyone make memes that like, oh, Red Bull uh, went over the <laughs> spending cap because they kept getting like fancy catering. <laughs> There, but it's it's like a it's a very boring like the thing is like I think it's probably going to be very boring, um, the stuff that they overspent on, you know. But they're they're saying like oh yeah you know we thought we'd get some tax credits that we didn't get and there's some there was some stuff about uh, a, a, an employee who went on an extended leave and then came back I don't know, but um, but 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 but, but Jiminy that's going to be very interesting to see because Red Bull uh, squeaked by last year. Um, but everybody's pretty. Everyone's pretty much saying like, "Yeah, we're not gonna." No one wonder wants to <laughs> relitigate last year. But then Red Bull like was major, major, majorly dominant this season. 
uh, they then they clinched the championship, the team championship, after Max clinched the driver's championship last week. All right, well, speaking of last week, we do want to give away some birthday borners here. We're going to go to our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv, and uh, find out who gave us all of their wonderful birthdays that are uh, happening. For example, the Dud uh, says, hey, hey, my birthday is on the 27th. They turn 31. Happy birthday upcoming, the Dud. Uh, Dr. Uncle Mal had his 41st birthday on the 22nd. Happy birthday, Dr. Uncle Mal. Who sent in some sent in many games before? Uh, also, Chris, the F1 guy, uh, uh, turned 52 years on uh, today. Oh my goodness! Happy birthday, Chris! Uh, and of course, X Modem is letting us know that they are a Halloween baby. Oh, my cousin's a Halloween baby, but that's next week. But it's fine. You know what? We're not. We're being. We're, we're not really. Is is that like code for being a werewolf or a, Halloween or a mummy? Yeah, if you're if you're a Halloween baby, yeah, you're a only Halloween babies remember this. That's right. Only Halloween babies remember sarcophaguses <laughs> and uh, wanting to suck your blood. <laughs> Feel old yet? Uh, uh, yeah. But well, uh, uh, only Halloween babies remember being so slutty when they were in nursing school. Uh. uh Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. No, no, I'm, right. with, I'm with you on that. Okay, okay, okay. I was a little, I was a little on edge, just gonna make sure. But no, I think, yeah, that's a thing. Only Halloween babies deny remembering anyone ever wearing blackface. Ooh. Uh, only Halloween. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the negatives. Only Halloween. Pretty sure I'm immune on this one, I, right? I, because I, what I'm so. doing is I'm, I'm implying that only Halloween babies would be ashamed to and okay. pretend that they don't remember. I, 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 I think I landed. This is very funny. Wait, do I get points for technical merit if it's not very funny? But what the hell's happening? <laughs> uh, Talking about blackface. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Halloween uh, babies, everyone. Halloween babies. All right. Uh, well, thank you, everyone, for your birthday. Borners, of course, go to great night. <laughs> Discord.greatnight.tv. Hey, guys. I just. Hello. What the fuck happened? You don't. What the fuck? It's, we cannot relitigate it for sure. I am lied that blackface was something shameful. Okay. That was the joke. Yeah. Okay. But it was. Hey, uh, thank you. <laughs> why, why would you thank me? That's not my catchphrase when I leave. <laughs> what? Because you showed up and started talking about it again. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about it as a blanket shame. Frankie but Valley. then you put the. Stop don't it. you don't do <laughs> no, no. You're gonna don't you do, do it. it don't you're you do it oh you remember well uh, uh hello the car race who won the uh, uh one max verstappen won the car race oh he's one of the famous ones he uh he won the driver's championship last week and he uh uh secured the team championship this week so uh uh i was uh, doing some osmosis understanding of of f1 which is to say people in my orbit talk about it yeah. but uh, is the austin race becoming like prestigious like is, is it is it a thing that people kind of look forward to beyond just people who live here uh yeah I, I think as far as like the american races go it's like the authentic one yes you know it is the original united states grand prix not the texas grand prix uh, so, so what is, is nascar like the pro wrestling of this well that's just a different series and yeah, so yeah, it's just for f1 it's just in f1 yeah. it's the original and so they've got miami but miami is a street circuit in a <laughs> in a stadium parking lot and then Las Vegas is next year, but that's also going to be a street circuit on the strip. Also, is that, I heard a rumor that that's going to happen at like one o'clock in the morning or something like that. Like it's some, some ridiculous time that it's going to happen at. They're doing a weird day thing where there's, I think they're going to, God, what is it? I, I still haven't seen it, but I. I 10 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah, they're do yes, that's right. For it to be EU friendly. What the fuck? So it's not <laughs> even like in America unless you stay up to midnight and how long is the race normally? About ninety minutes. Okay. So it's, it's like, not crazy. it's a late night event. Hold on. That's two thirty in the morning East Coast. By the 10 time it ends. And yeah, Pacific ten. Yeah, because that's that's Pacific time. Yeah, it's three three yeah. hours before. So that's one o'clock in the morning. It starts, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And, it, and it, that is, it is early, you know. Um, granted, Americans, 
we uh, we we get it we get it pretty good as far as the times of these races go. A lot of our friends in in Pacific in Asia, Asia Pacific have a lot of a lot of these types of very very early morning. Uh, Bryce, races. you're aware this is America, right? When the fuck have we ever given a shit about anybody else? I I'll say the the race uh, here in Austin started in the afternoon at like 2 p.m. That sounds great. It was weird because I'm used to being I'm used to being in the mornings to being early in the mornings and we do like a breakfasty sort of thing. Um, and then I spent all day cleaning because I had people come over and my That's place was interesting. Hold on. Sports as meals. What meal yeah. is mm. basketball? Ooh. Chicken wings. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I meant... Go. Next one. Oh, next, one. Next, one. <laughs> next one. Next one. Uh, 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 Soccer. Uh, field hockey. Oh, field hockey. Chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about volleyball? Uh, uh, volleyball? Chicken wings. Uh, 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 Men's uh, and women's? Uh, 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 Texas Hold'em poker. Chicken wings. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Chicken wings. <laughs> Chicken wing with chest. a butt plug. <laughs> oh, all right. I was waiting for that. Vibrate yeah. uh, uh, The XFL. For, oh, chicken wings. Oh yeah, me. The USFL. Oh, Herschel Walker's favorite chicken wings. <laughs> NFL. Chicken wings from Little Caesars, the new official sponsor of the NFL, the up. World League of American Football. Chicken wings. But you have Go. to you have to uh, uh, apply for them via bankruptcy. <laughs> Go karts, chicken wings. <laughs> right. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, wait. No, no. Uh, uh, Mario Kart. <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, it's all yours. <laughs> chicken wings. I like you gave Wario a southern accent, and I loved it. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. Well, we just got another couple of minutes here, Bryce. You can't just introduce the idea of Southern Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> you have unsweet tea. Dios mio. Oh. Wario, why you talking like this? <laughs> uh, that that's, the sound will rise again. <laughs> oh, he's a bad guy. No. Luigi. Luigi, bad you hear guy. this asshole? He's a bad guy. Hey. He let's, and I, the same model. He got it. the wiggly mustache. Hey, Talking Mar like this. Let's you and me knock out game him. Okay. It's 7 o'clock here. We're going to get started in just another few minutes here. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, you can support all of this over at patreon.com slash great night. You can support all of us. Get the exclusive Bones podcast, the bonus podcast every week. Even while the guys have been traveling and uh, crisscrossing this beautiful nation of ours, uh, we have been giving you the bones every week. Love to give bones. And we love to give the bones. You know? Yeah, we do. Yeah. We, <laughs> uh, we like to give bones. Just like the doctors who sometimes appear on, on the Great Night Bones, they love to give you their bones as well. <laughs> if anybody remembers that bit from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, oh, Brian did. Okay, good. I heard him laugh. I just needed to hear him laugh to make sure I knew he got it. <laughs> All righty. Well, let's take a look at how everyone's doing. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? On Lisa? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, right up. Uh, Brett? Hello, friend. Ooh. Uh, Brian and Justin? <laughs> our chat room and all of our wonderful audience. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for supporting us here. And uh, we're going to get started with the Great Night program just now. Brett, are you ready to begin the program? I am ready. All right. Then I'll count you in. All right. 